everybody, Brad from Circling the Drone here. I've got the uh, DJI Mini 3 Pro with the DJR, DJI RC out here at the lake. Um, there was a firmware update for this guy on Thursday. The uh, firmware is 1.00.0150. <clears throat> um, it mentioned something about improving the image transmission for the Mini 3 Pro. So, does that mean just the FPV image, or does that mean also the uh, RC uh, RC to drone connections that improve? That's what we want to find out today. Um, I'm out here at the lake. It's quite windy. I don't know if you can see the, the trees behind me blowing. Yeah, it's a little bit windy. So anyway, we're going to take this guy out. Um, my little route around here at the lake and uh, see if the uh, RC connection is proved. All right, let's take her on up. Okay, so let me try this again. My GoPro didn't record, so <clears throat> I'm going to stop recording on here. See, I didn't see my light blinking on my GoPro. So anyway, we've got, I'm going to go ahead and take off. We have uh, 19 satellites. See that Mini 3 handling that wind pretty good. <clears throat> Very quiet. Go ahead and start recording. We're in 4K 30. See it's getting knocked around a little bit, but not too bad. <clears throat> So quiet even right up close. So anyway, let's go ahead and take it on out. <clears throat> yeah, it's really tilting into that wind. We're gonna go ahead and leave it kinda low. So we can, um, that's what I flew the other day when I was losing RC signal, kind of flying low, and it was uh, kept dropping out on us. So again, I don't know if this update actually fixes the uh, RC to drone transmission signal, or if it's just the uh, FPV, or both. <clears throat> uh, the FPV looks really good. So, so far so good. I think it started dropping out like over toward this shore over here. That'd be the north shore of this lake. I'm on the south shore. The breeze is quite chilly. It actually rained on my way up here. It wasn't supposed to rain this morning, but it's very overcast and a bit chilly this morning. It had been in the 90s most of the week. Yeah, you can see the little white caps on the lake there from the wind. I don't know what the uh, what the wind is actually. Dropped one bar right there. We're about 2,800 feet, 2,900 feet. Only about 56 feet up. So there it dropped down. Strong wind warning. Yes, very strong. <clears throat> so my battery's already down to 69% because I had to, I forgot to, I think I 
turned my GoPro on, then I turned it off, and then I realized I didn't, uh, wasn't recording, so I brought the drone back. I didn't get that far out, but. So, so far, not so bad. I believe at this point, my last flight, I was, uh, getting adjust the antenna signal or uh, adjusting antenna signal messages so it's maybe a little better today you know the FPV is very clear on this DJI RC got a strong wind warning yeah it's only doing nine miles per hour I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there <clears throat> and throw it in the sport mode help the little mini three out get through this wind so yeah this isn't gonna be a very long flight I just wanted to test out the RC signal and see if that's better today it actually does seem a lot better today <clears throat> uh, if you watch my other video, my last video, it definitely dropped out even before getting to this point. And I had to go up, up to like 200 feet. There, there's a little bit of a, I'm over a mile out right now. I'm going to go ahead and bring it on up a little bit. <clears throat> So we're at 171, 180 feet. Got a pretty strong signal. So in my opinion, I would say that it is improved. At least from my, my last flight. You can see I'm in sport mode. I'm only doing 16 miles per hour, so yeah, it's definitely windy. You can see the, the ripples in the water. So yeah, we've got full RC strength right here, and we're 6,400 feet out. Only a 45% battery. It's fighting that wind. I think I'm going to go ahead and start bringing it back this way. Get that wind to our tail section there. There you see strong wind warning. A little too fast on the uh, yaw there. So I'm going to say definitely there's an improvement. At least from what I saw from my last flight there. So you can see we're up to 35 miles per hour now. Got that tail to our ta uh, backs. <clears throat> so I'm only at 188 feet and we still got pretty good signal. Full signal right now. Yeah, we're hitting 36 miles per hour right there. <laughs> yeah so like I said last flight I had to go up to 300 close to 300 if I remember correctly to keep a good signal here I'm flying pretty low just above the treetops and it's got a real nice full RC signal and the uh FPV is real clear also. <clears throat> I wonder if they improve the screen recording because uh, it records in 720p. That'd be nice if they would up that to like 1080p. It 
So yeah, I'm gonna say it's a definite improvement. Uh, 1.00.01 zero one five zero something like that the new firmware for the mini 3 pro my hands are starting to shake a little bit because that wind's very chilly Ooh, 36 and a half strong wind warning yeah so that's uh i'm gonna say they definitely improved that they'll bring the uh, mini 3 on back in Woo in the mail. Go ahead and put it back into normal mode. So here comes that Mini 3. You can see it's uh, fighting that wind. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to say that uh, definitely improved the transmission on the Mini 3, the image transmission and the RC transmission, at least from my experience. Let me go ahead and get this thing landed. Anyway guys, Brad from Swiftly Drone, take care, thanks for watching, bye.